The real history of NDE is we first came here 20 years ago, so this is our 20th birthday. We're in this magnificent building, it's called the Rotunda. It was designed in 1968 by an architect called Paul Hamilton and it has a very brutalistic, unusual architecture and it's actually a listed building as its sort of architectural significance uh, within the country. So it's a great environment for us to be creative in. Not only that, it's in a great location being in the, the centre of London. We have facilities that we can do every function of design. We can do clay modelling, we can do cab modelling, we can make prototypes. Uh, we have the full suite that a, a headquarters studio would have. Our back catalogue of designs at NDE is quite rich. From the very beginning, we, we launched a show car in Geneva in 2004, which was the, the Qashqai concept. It was obviously a very pivotal car for us because it was the start of our journey with Qashqai. As well as our mainstream products, the team here, they look at a lot of advanced studies, which also lead on to concept vehicles. And even around electrification, if we look back, the studio worked on NV200, which later went on to be an all-electric commercial vehicle. Uh, so we worked on the concept of that down to the ARIA concept, an ARIA single-seater. The 2023 concept, it's a celebration. It's a present from us to us to celebrate our 20th birthday. The team, I would describe as one of the most creative teams I've worked in. The freedom, I would say it's the biggest quality that we can have in our studio. It's the fact that we can work on production, but the concept phase allows us to go very far. We decided to create something that maybe just for the raising, just for the really young audience. From Formula E, we got kind of inspired from uh, how to develop and construct all the concept from the exterior. In some way, it could look very raw, but this is the intent. We had to get rid of everything that is basically aesthetic and cosmetic, and only focus on structures. That's why you can see just a shell and then some beams, and um, basically everything is made of this Lego technique, tubular kind of approach. The exterior colour we're looking at is trying to suggest a vehicle that's almost been machined out of a solid lump of metal. and It's got a very textured surface to it to give that rawness that contrasts with the high gloss elements of the vehicle. The 2023 concept, we felt it was time to just to make something that reflected perhaps the environment we live in and the young team that we have here.